Hi there, this is Jid Webb. Today we're going to produce an image uh, ready to upload to the internet. Um, okay, first thing we need to do, get some uh, editing music going on. Can't do editing without music. Dodgy the music, the better. Okay, here we need to select an image. Here we have a selection of uh, MD11 uh, Lufthansa cargo images landing at Manchester. Uh, looking at them in Adobe Bridge. Press the space bar to look at the images at uh, full screen and use the arrow keys to toggle through to select the image you want. Then we'll go with that one there with the uh, nose wheel touching down. Uh, we need to look at the front of the image. <coughs> Check for blurred. Uh, looks, uh, it's a little soft but it's not blurry. Check again at the back, that looks fine. Hit the space bar, come out to full screen, and then double click the image to open it in Photoshop. Because it's a raw file, it'll open in your uh, raw conversion utility. All I'm going to do here is uh, increase the exposure because the image is slightly dark, uh, to a point where it starts clipping, which it just has done. So I'll reduce uh, the exposure slightly. The image also looks slightly warm, so I'll reduce the colour temperature uh, down to about that point. That just leaves a very small amount of clipping there that we can live with. And now we'll open the image. <coughs> this will open the image in Photoshop. In this case, it's uh, Photoshop CS4. And I'm using a Mac today. And there's our image. Press F, enter full screen. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is level the image. So we're going to select the ruler tool, which is underneath the eyedropper. Go to uh, one edge of the runway, drag the uh, cursor across to the other side. Go image, image, rotation and arbitrary. That tells you how much rotation you need to apply. If you press OK, it'll apply the rotation for you. Next thing, we're going to uh, crop the image. So select the crop tool. Already in uh, my dimensions is uh, 30 by 20, which is the same as 3 to 2. Drag the crop out. Just leave a little space front and back. Um, a bit of micro adjustment using the arrow keys. I always like to have the image centered right around the center of the fuselage. Double click inside the crop and the image is cropped. Next we're going to adjust the levels and uh, maybe add a, a slight amount of contrast. I've got an action already set up to do that, <coughs> so I'll hit that button and let's have a look at what we've got. We've got two channels, highlight curve and a shadow curve to apply contrast at varying levels and an auto level uh, layer. So I'll look at the auto level layer to start off with. Uh, the highlights are, are fine, but there's a little bit of a gap on the, the shadow side. So I'm going to pull that cursor across, but if I hold the Alt key down, and grab the cursor or the slider, you can see on the screen anywhere where black appears on the screen is at the point where we've hit black. So we don't want to quite go to black, so we just back it off to there. And there we have the levels adjusted. Now to look at fine-tuning the um, contrast. My action is set up to apply 5% into the shadow and 10% into the highlight. I think 5% into the shadow is probably too much, so I can switch that off. And that's with 5%, 10%. Uh, I think 0 is fine. For the highlights, it's set at 10. Uh, it's a bit too dark at zero. 20 or 10. I think 10 is fine for this image. So that's the retouching of the um, image for brightness. So we'll flatten the image. And now I want to check for spots. So okay, create a duplicate layer, equalize it, and then look for spots. Uh, I think we're quite lucky here that actually aren't any single spots there so I don't need to go over here and grab 
either my hail or the clone stamp. I can switch the equalization off and resize the image now. So I hit resize, all that action does is exactly the same as an image, image size with 1200 pixels. I need to look at this uh, now in full screen or in full in actual pixel size so we can sharpen the image. Uh, a few are sharpening routines. To start off with we're going to apply some edge sharpening which applies sharpness just to the edges uh, where there's contrast. And as we can see there's probably a little bit of over sharpening on the, the titles and a touch on the tail. Now uh, because I've applied the sharpening and put it inside a, a layer group uh, with a mask I can actually paint out uh, some of that sharpening. So. My uh, brush opacity is set to 30%, so I can gradually reduce the amount of sharpening that's happening uh, on the titles. And if you look over at the mask, you can see where it's being painted out. There's also a little bit of a few jaggies going on there. A little bit on the tail, we'll just uh, take out. Side there, and a little bit of the back of the tail. Flatten that as we've finished. Now, just to address any of the areas which are slightly soft, which is probably just the nose and a little bit around the engines, apply a layer that's got a lot of sharpening on it, then put a mask on top of it which hides uh, all the sharpening. Because everything's hidden, that means it's black. So. We set our brush to be white. Firstly, painting a little bit of sharpness around the nose area. And that's uh, sharp at the nose. A little bit of sharpness on the engine intakes. Maybe a little bit around the top of the winglet. Yeah, a little bit of uh, sharpness there. And that's, uh, that's the sharp we've done. So we can flatten that. Let's look at the image in full screen. Just to see if there are any the final adjustments that we need to do. That looks uh, absolutely fine. So all we need to do now is save the image. So we do file save as. Go down to any particular folder. We want it to be a JPEG. I do have a naming protocol to save the files so I'll uh, have all my work and that is to save uh, the file with the registration of the aircraft first then the airport and my name always save at maximum quality checking that you haven't exceeded the one megabyte uh, file size restriction which is imposed by the uh, large websites, Jet Photos and Airliners, and there we have our finished image saved and ready to go up to the internet.